Hello, my name is Patrick Nashta, user experience for WebSphere Smash. Today I'm going to show you WebSphere Smash in the cloud. Um, what you'll see here is that we already have an instance running with this IP address and it's active. And we're going to go ahead and create a new instance by clicking over here. Notice this is already showing the instance that's running. But I need to click this add instance to create a new one. So Webster Smash is at the bottom of this list. So go ahead and scroll down and I'll click it here and then we'll click the next button. And here as it loads the parameters we'll have the name of the instance. So in this case I'll just make this Smash Test version 2. It's going to be small server size in this case and you can set when the data will expire I'll just leave it on this 7909 and this is the app builder username as well as the passwords that we would want to get gain access to the app builder so I'll go ahead and use these as default and I'll click next and here you'll be able to see the image ID the image name the image description the request name, what quantity you have is one, it's a small server size when it expires, as well as your username and password. I'll go ahead and click next, and then I'll go ahead and agree to the uh, agreement. And then I'll submit. So then we'll close this box, and normally the um, activating of an instance has been taken about eight minutes after it's provisioned. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the other instance, version 2, and we've had this provisioned. In this case it took six minutes to do that to make it active, and we'll go ahead and click on the App Builder link here. Notice that it's also giving authentication required so I'll type in my user as well as the password that I've provided for it and then we'll have the app builder loaded and this is a brand new fresh app builder with a new instance so thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the cloud